Hi, I'm Madeline. In this presentation, I'll be leading you through a process called the Visual Thinking Strategy, or VTS. This strategy is an accessible way to practice saying what you think and why, leading you into the process of critical thinking. If the term critical thinking confuses you, you're not alone. The term critical thinking is used a lot in university classrooms and assignments. When you employ critical thinking, you are objectively analyzing something, then using evidence to draw a conclusion. You are giving reasons for what you think and what you say. A great way to start thinking critically is to practice by looking at a piece of art and using the visual thinking strategy or BTS. Observe a painting and describe what you see. Continue to explore what you see, thinking beyond first impressions. Back up your ideas with evidence. Finally, move from using this strategy with a painting to using it with a course text or reading assignment. Why should you use VTS? Using a piece of art is a gentle entry into discovering multiple ways of seeing and ways of interpreting what you see. This technique can enrich your thinking and reflecting skills while illustrating how to use evidence to back up your claims. Here's an example of the VTS process. Nancy will ask me questions about a painting, and I'll answer as if I'm a student. What's going on in this picture? I see a girl in a white dress. Looks like she's sort of in a bed. What do you see that makes you say that? Well, the curved thing looks like a bed frame. And also there's a black diamond in a white box. Maybe that's a painting on the wall. Hmm. What do you see that makes you see that it's a painting? It's in a rectangular shape, like a painting, but I guess it could also be a window. What do you see that makes you say it could be a window? The diamond might be black night outside, and the white could be curtains. Also, there's a vertical line to the right and a sketchy figure there, a bird. So you think that might be a bird? What do you see that makes you say that? The beaky nose and the arm looks like a wing because it's curved. Hmm. What else do you see? The girl's arms and head are hanging down through the bed bars and the body doesn't really match up with the upper half. She's asleep or maybe dead. Hmm. What do you see that makes you say that she may be dead? Her eyes are closed or maybe she's just sad. What do you see that makes you say she's sad? Her mouth is a straight line which shows sadness. The bed is flat not three-dimensional. There's no depth to the bed and her body and feet are just hanging down. It's almost as if she's been hung from the bed. Sounds like you think she might be dead because she's been hung. What do you see that makes you say that? Her feet aren't touching the ground. What more can you find? The picture's really sad. What do you see that makes you say that the picture is sad? What does sadness look like? The colors are sad, mostly gray, a blah color, and the girl's expression. The line is also sad. What do you see that makes you say the line is sad? The line separates the little girl and the bird figure. Separation is lonely. The black outside the window adds to the sadness. Great. You found many things in this painting and explained what you saw. In other words, you gave evidence for what you said. Sustained observation of something leads us to deeper and more critical forms of inquiry. What happens when you slow down and look more closely? Try it for yourself. You might start with a piece of art and then move to a poem or another piece of writing.